Hello everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tutor, back today with probably the best wood shader in the industry right now. So if I just turn off my active tool, now before I begin, down on the bottom right hand side, I will play a short video showing how you can just simply drag and drop this material onto any of your own projects or any of your own assets, simply just drag, drop it on, and there you go, it will actually work. It doesn't matter what it is. You can see that we've got these beautiful wood shaders, complete with all of this edge wear, complete with all of the shadows that you see in here, and including all of this um, front wear or weathered look as well on top of all that. Now you can see here that we've got 10 different types of wood and we're open actually to add on to this as well. So before I begin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you as well, if you are a beginner or even if not, I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually use these. So let's come into this one here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on over to my shadings panel. I'm going to put this on so you can actually see what I'm doing. And the first thing you'll notice, let's go back over to that one. I'm going to save that one for, for the creme de la creme so the first thing you'll notice is within the shader it's a simple setup it's been made so easy for you guys just to come in put it on your own objects which i'll show you in a minute and actually straight out of the box easy to use so i'm just going to go through them now you can see here we've got edge wear which is going to be this edging around here so what we can do is we can turn that up or we can drop it down to nothing or we can put it somewhere in the middle the next one we've got is that weathered look so you can see i can turn it up I'll drop it down, for instance, to nothing, like so. The next one, then, is the occlusion, so the shadows that are going to go around here. So if I come in and I turn this down, you'll see them drop in or come in closer together, like so. The next one down is the gradient, so this is the gradient from the top to the bottom, which is a nice look, especially if you're going for that stylized look. So you can see if I bring this down, if you just look around here, you will see... It goes up and it goes down and the closer I bring these together, the more distinct that actual look is. So if I turn it like up like that, now you can see we've got a beautiful kind of gradient look. And the next uh, three or four, as you can see, is all based on the actual wood. So if you don't want your wood on, for instance, let's turn this down to zero. And then this is just going to be controlled by that edge wear, as you can see. But if we want our wood, let's say on two, you can see now that it's looking pretty nice. Let's turn it up to something like four. And now you can see really, really starting to get that grain effect. The next one we've got on here then is the wet or dry. So you are able to turn this up or turn it down to have it a dry look or a completely wet look. But I prefer actually something in the middle. So let's put it on 0.5. And you can see that it's looking a little bit wet at the moment, getting that shine. And this, of course, is attached to the roughness channel. So it will still look realistic, even though it's actually wet. And finally, the last two, we've got the noise, um, the normal scale. So you can see at the moment it's set at 1.2. Let's put this up to 3. And you'll see now that grain really starting to pop out. So it's up to you, however you want it. Let's put that back on one or something like that. And finally, then we've got the wood rotation because we all know when we've uh, UV unwrapped something, we might want to turn different parts of it round and we can actually do that within here like so. So you can see you can actually turn it on a 90 degree um, angle if you really want to, something like this. Or you can set this back to zero and have it going the right way. So all of this is being controlled in all of these little kind of um, channels for you here. And there shouldn't be a lot else that you need to do with this wood apart from throw it on there and actually then set all of this edge wear up if you want it. And what I have done is save the best one to last, which is our sea coral actual wood. Now you will see that with the sea coral one, we've actually got another option which allows you all of the sea coral to be around your wood, creating that effect of, you know, some kind of chest being underwater or something like that. Now, if I click on this one, you will see that we end up with a different option. So down here, you can see now we've got all of the same options as what we had before, except now we've got a barnacle one. Now, if we come in and we turn this down to zero, of course, we'll get less and less barnacles the further we turn it down. And the further we turn it up, the more barnacles we're actually going to get. So somewhere in the middle, we've also got a barnacle size. So if we turn this up, though, we'll get smaller, turn it down and they will be at bigger. So we can have something like this. And of course, we've actually got a normal map tied to this as well if you want them stuck out a little bit more so you can see really really amazing um actual shaders 
Let me just turn this all down a little bit, like so, just to make it a little bit more kind of realistic, like so. And now let me show you how they work then within your own project. So if I come then to modeling, because we're not going to need to be in the, well, we might actually need to be in the shader, but I'll come to modeling first. And what I'm going to do is just turn everything on. So this will be basically exactly as you would have it. I'll leave it on and show you that it also works you know, with it actually on cycles. So you can see here we've got cycles on. Before moving on, guys, I just wanted to drop in a quick update, which I actually forgot about, which is now we can actually just select whichever one you want and you can actually control them on the right hand side. So you'll see here all I need to do is just bring this up or bring it down to whatever I want and close that up, come to Edgeware and just everything can be controlled over here within the actual materials menu, exactly the same as you would if you headed on into the shaver, saving you tons and tons of time. Um, we can see here that also we've got transparency on, so you can see basically this is in real time. So what I'm gonna do is pick my cube, and then I'm gonna come in, and what I'll do is I'll pick one of these woods. So let's pick a fancy wood four, something like this, and then you can see straight away now, this is how the wood would come in. So I'm actually going to go over to the shader. I think it will be better to do it this way because then you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm gonna to come to the shader, I'm gonna pull out a little bit, and then what I'm gonna do now is control this edge where from here. So you can see at the moment, this is my actual cube. Let's come in and turn that um, edge wear up a little bit. And you can see even with a cube, we're able to then put in that edge wear as simple as that. Let's bring up this edge wear as well, and there you go. And then let's come in and we're not going to get a lot of occlusion, obviously, because we haven't got anything, you know, kind of going in or anything like that. But we're certainly going to be able to control the actual gradient. So you can see here that gradient coming up and down like so, bring them closer together. Now you can see like so. And then we can also control the wood scale. So let's put it on something like three. And there we go. Let's come in then. We'll make it um, a little bit wetter. So let's turn it down just a little bit like so. There we go, we can see now it's looking a little bit wetter of wood. And we've also got the noise scale, let's turn that up a little bit, like so. And then also we've got the wood rotation, but I don't want to turn that round. Now you can see in real time on your own projects, I've put this on, you can see exactly how it works. Now let's come in, and what we'll do is, we'll actually put this back on a minute. We'll grab this face, we're going to press the I button, bring it in. And then what I'm going to do is extrude it back with E like so. And then finally, all I'm going to do is press control plus, and I'm just going to re-unwrap that. So I'm going to use the smart UV project to re-unwrap that. And there we go. You can see just how nice that actually looks. Obviously, if I turn these pieces of wood around, so let me actually do that. So I'm going to grab all three of these pieces of wood. I'm just going to turn it around then just to show you what I mean. So A, R, 90, spin them around. Let's go back then to the shader. Let that load up. Double tap the A. And there you go. There is your actual cube all done in real time as easily as that. And we could also come in and put a different shader on there if we want to. Now let's come to the next one then. So we've got this actual table. And all I'm going to do with the table actually is just come in, grab my table. So let's press tab, grab this table here. And I'm just going to change this wood then. So all I'm going to do is click the little down arrow. Let's pick a different wood. So if I scroll up, let's pick uh, fancy wood seven. And there you go, you can see what a difference that actually makes bringing in this wood. Now let's try it once more then with um, this uh, chest here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in. I'm going to come down and I'll try number 10 with the actual corals. And there you go. You can see that obviously we need to change this metal over. This metal is in no way, shape or form as good as, uh, as this shader at all. So you can see there is a difference. Let's try a different one then. So we'll go with number three. Well, you can see now, wow, that looks pretty good. So you can see now while I'm calling it one of the best wood shaders um, in the industry, everything can be controlled in Blender, and it really, really brings life to your actual wood. All right, everyone, if you want to grab this actual shader for free, then check out our Patreon. I'll play the advert just after I finish speaking. If you like this sort of thing, give us a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one, everyone. Happy modeling. Cheers. Hey everyone, do you want to have access to hundreds of Blender products every single month? Then check out our brand new Patreon, which is probably the best in the industry, especially for beginners to Blender. 
First of all, we now have four Patreon levels, pretty much for any budget. Or, if you just want to follow us over there for the latest news on 3D Tudor, then that's also fine. So let's now take a look at these ranks and stay till the end to find out what we really have to offer. So rank one is all about just supporting us at five euros per month. And this is just to say a big thanks for everything that we do here. Rank two at 10 euros per month comes with a free course every single month. And if you've seen the scenes that we've been creating here on YouTube, where well you can get your hands on any of these for absolutely free and you will get your name featured at the end credits of all of our YouTube videos. Moving on and stepping it up to rank three, at 19 euros 50 per month, you get pretty much the same as you did in rank two, but this time we also give you two geometry nodes per month absolutely free and moving on to the big one which is rank four the top tier that we have at 48 euros 50 per month and you pretty much get the whole shebang two free courses per month any of our geometry nodes any of our model packs any of our youtube themes but best of all you also get the complete asset manager file complete with our entire library of compositors materials and assets and this will just keep growing so whatever your budget there's never been a better time to support us here at 3d tudor and i think we provide one of the best patrons in the industry so head on over check out our patreon follow us over there for the latest news and if you can we'd be very grateful for any support large or small